Hello there, everyone, and welcome back to the channel. My name is Botox Games, and today I wanted to talk about the death of physical media. This morning, we saw Bethesda support tweet out that Starfield will be digital only. There will be codes in boxes for that game. They later took down the tweet, but it's seemingly going to be digital only for all intents and purposes. And I wanted to talk about this because in 2023 especially, it feels like there's some some un unannounced push between all publishers except for Nintendo which we'll talk about to to give us digital only games and I get it I'm not going to sit here and pretend I don't understand why you know publishers are doing this but it sucks it it sucks so massively that it's it's honestly insane man so if you follow me for a long time you know I I I like collecting physical games I like owning physical games I'm not afraid to buy a digital game i will buy a digital game i am subscribed to xbox game pass but if and when possible i will always prefer to buy a physical copy and yeah there are pros and cons if you buy it digitally you can um you know you just have easier access to it it's pretty much safe for you know all all future purposes i actually did buy street fighter 6 and diablo 4 early um a because i wanted to get them early because they both had like a, a pre-launch period um and b because with ps5 admit admittedly with ps5 and series x games i don't care as much i do have a pretty sizable ps5 collection um that i, I posted a video on and having that disc is still nice but the push we are seeing this year is absolutely crazy. You know, we've been talking about this all digital future for the past 10 years. Ever since Xbox One had that mandatory DRM, it was like, oh, well, wow, we're, we're really doing this. And Steam exists. So PC has already pretty much been in a all digital space for the past 15 years, right? But it feels like the powers that be just decided 2023 was our year to uh, to start getting less and less physical games, because not only is it seeming like Bethesda will not be releasing, or Microsoft and Bethesda will not be releasing Starfield physically, as evident by these tweets that they actually deleted, so maybe they'll end up having one. Um, we're seeing Alan Wake 2 being published by uh, you know Epic Games and uh, developed by Remedy. That's going to be digital only. That was a huge blow a couple weeks ago. I was almost going to make a video just on that, but I'm glad I waited. That's huge. That's a that's a big AAA game that is a goatee contender, and it's not getting a physical copy, which is weird because Alan Wake Remastered just, what, two years ago has one. We're also seeing a, a much smaller title in terms of uh, sales potential, although actually probably about what Alan Wake will do, I'd imagine. Uh, Yakuza Like a Dragon, um, or let me just say Like a Dragon Gaiden, um, the new game starring Kiryu, a game that is actually pretty important to me right now because I just finished up Yakuza 0 last night. Absolutely goaded game. Um that game is not getting a a physical release. In fact, there is a Japanese release. Um, if you go and play Asia, you can see they have it available, but not in America. And these things could change, but I don't foresee that happening. There are other instances of this, um, some smaller. There are a lot of Switch games and, and just Japanese games in general that typically only get releases through like Play Asia and and they have other countries or they're from other countries and then they have English on the cartridge. I love this stuff um, at, at like a, a, a last resort, you know, it's very nice that, for example, a game I'm excited to play it later this year is Dragon Quest uh, Infinity Trash, the Adventure of Die game. This is an action RPG starring Die from that Dragon Quest subseries, right? This comes out in September, full price game. There is going to be an English release of it through Play Asia, but not in America. Which is weird because, yeah, Dragon Quest might not be super popular in America, we just got Dragon Quest treasures physically over here, right? Dragon Quest monsters is up for pre-order. So why why is Dragon Quest the Adventure of Die like the where they draw the line in terms of a physical copy? Botan Kaidos One and Two HD isn't getting a physical release in America either, but there is a a Play Asia version that does have English. I hate to see this happening, but it's like I said, I, I'm not you know I'm not. I'm not unaware of why this is happening, right? Especially with Microsoft, I think most people would have expected Microsoft to be the first to really push this, which is why it was kind of surprising to see a company like Sega with yeah, like a dragon and and well, Epic isn't that surprising because they have their own uh, launcher on PC, right? Um, but Microsoft was expected because of Game Pass. And to be fair, I was never gonna buy Starfield physically. I'm not very interested in that game in general, but I was I would never buy that physically because of Game Pass. Game Pass has, I think, diluted the 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 value of, of video games quite a bit. 
And for most people, for most casual players, that's nothing but a good thing. Games are cheaper than ever. So by getting Game Pass, you're just getting a you're you know, you're getting your your three thousand hour Bethesda RPG that you've been dreaming of for the past ten years, essentially for free, fifteen dollars a month. That's that's basically nothing, right? So I'm not dumb to the fact that this is expected. I'm not you know I wasn't expecting this to continue forever. But I, I was surprised to see this news this morning because Starfield will be one of the best-selling games of the year. Um, or at least it would be if not for Game Pass. Maybe, you know, the, the sales data is going to be a little weird now because of the lack of a physical, because it's going to be on Game Pass day one. There is like that that opt-in to buy five days early kind of thing going on with this game. So there is that. Right. But this sucks, man. <laughs> you know, I you know, scroll through this Wario 64 tweet. I saw some interesting replies. Um, wh let's see, where was it? I, I saw someone complaining about this and fully agreed, but then someone was replying like, oh, wow, this, uh, well, why even buy it? Because your, your discs don't have the full game on it. You're just, you're just buying a license and then you have to download the full game anyway. What's the point? There are many, many reasons that someone would want to own a physical disc. By taking away the physical disc, you're only hurting hurting consumer options if you prefer buying digital that's completely fine i buy games digital all the time i bought street fighter 6 and diablo 4 digitally um you know i'm not gonna sit here and pretend like i i just am so adamant about not buying digital games right but i always see these people saying like oh well just buy digital this is the future guys what 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 happened to having options <laughs> you know what what does having the option for other people hurt you for microsoft a company that has Game Pass, they're pushing Game Pass, they've made it very clear they only care about Game Pass. To do this, that makes sense for them from a business perspective. I can understand it. You know, you know manufacturing is what, maybe 0.5% of revenue for this game? <laughs> maybe. Sure, whatever. Maybe they they really need that 0.5% of revenue. Um, and I'm pulling that number out of nothing. I don't actually know how much it would take to, to manufacture this. Maybe maybe factories are getting more expensive as this becomes more, more of a niche product. Um... But a publisher like Epic Games, I think, will see a substantial blow to sales with Alan Wake 2. I think a, a publisher like Sega will see lower sales in general for a game like Like a Dragon. Uh, Gaiden, we're not there yet. I know it's coming, but in 2023, I, I really don't see how this is a good idea to completely alienate people from buying your game. And... Well, yes, I did just say I bought Street Fighter 6 and Diablo 4 digitally. Um, that was very rare for me. I do not normally do that anymore. I was looking for something to play. Uh, in the case of Street Fighter 6, I wanted to play with friends the night it came out. And then Diablo 4, they released four days early if you bought it digitally through the Digital Deluxe Edition. Um, but a game like, like a Dragon, Gaiden, for example... I'm not going to buy that game on release day. <laughs> you know, there's no chance. That That's a game I would wait for sale on physically. Um... Which is another huge aspect here. If you wait for sales, we are coming up on an economy where publishers are completely in control of their prices and may never put their games on sale. That probably won't happen. But, you know, with with the Switch, for example, right now, with Tears of the Kingdom, you go on eBay, you can buy a copy for 50 bucks, $20 off already. Used. You know? By going all digital, you are just getting rid of that option. And that is nothing but a bad thing. There's no reason to defend this. Um, but to the point, I was talking about a tweet on the war on a reply on the Wario 64 thread here. Um, someone was complaining, saying, "Oh, this is horrible." I completely agree with them. And someone replied to that, saying, "Well, your your games aren't on the disc anyway. You're just you know putting a th something in so you can download it. A, you're still on a disc that you can sell later if you decide you don't like the game. That's a huge that's a huge point <laughs> for physical media. But also, I always see people say that, and it always really irritates me because it's not even true." Yes, Call of Duty doesn't fit on the disc. It's 300 gigs, right? You don't expect that, or at least you don't anymore. You should still expect that. That that would be nice. But a major physical release that happened uh, just last week or this week was Final Fantasy 16. And guess what? That game is content complete on the disc. That is a huge AAA game. One of the most highly regarded games of the year complete on the disc. I hate this narrative that, that discs don't have the full game on them anymore. While, yes, you're going to get updates down the line, and, and Final Fantasy 16 will get updates, I'm sure, and it won't ever be that complete version on the disc eventually, to act like the disc has no content on it is absurd. 
because it's just not true. And there are other examples of this. I mentioned Alan Wake Remastered earlier. I'm not going to confirm that off the top of my head because I don't know, but I would assume that's all on the disc. Um, looking at my shelf here, Demon Souls, majority of that was on the disc. Um, Devil May Cry 5, Special Edition, you know... I'm not going to verify any of these, but these are games that I, I, I'm i pretty sure are just on the disc, or at the very least, most of the data is on the disc. So to act like these these games are, are discs that have no data on them is foolish, <laughs> you know? Um, and especially, not a, not a point for me, because I have very good internet, but there are still people that have bad internet. Starfield is going to be 150 gigs, probably. I think the file size is actually out there. It might be a little bit smaller than that, but that's a lot for some people. That's a lot, a lot of data to download for some people. That I mean, I remember when I was 14, I had very bad internet like 10 years ago, and that would have taken me four days to download. Now, of course, yeah, preloading, so maybe that's not that huge of a deal, but basically the point I'm trying to make is I'm rambling here. My point is... While I understand why digital will eventually eclipse physical media, I totally get it. Game Pass, the, the it just all makes sense for the publishers, right? There is no reason for A, to be happening so fast, and B, just to take away that option. I don't expect the PS6 to have a disk drive. I think that's foolish to expect that. But we, my, my PS5 still has a disk drive. My Series X still has a disk drive. So, by getting rid of that option right now, mid-generation for PS5 and Series X, it's just a little weird to me, and I really don't like it. And final point, I just want to say, shout out to Nintendo. This is a Nintendo channel. I, I have to give my props where props are due. I love the way they release games. They, no matter what, they show up. There are a couple instances where they release a, a game that uh, gets a digital-only release, the most notable, and I, I laugh saying most notable because this is such a low-key game. I would have loved if it got a physical in America. It did in Japan. Was Famicom Detective Club. That is the last major game Nintendo published, in my eyes, that did not get a physical release. <laughs> That's hilarious. It's Famicom Detective Club. Most people don't care. We're seeing this here. The reason I, I specifically want to call it Nintendo is because, A, Metroid Prime Remastered, while, yes, was the release digitally first, got a physical release two weeks later. That is a GameCube game. It's a remaster of a GameCube game, though. So you know what's even more impressive than that? Pikmin 1 and 2. Pikmin 1 and 2 are very quickly thrown together, I want to say, and at least in just raw appearance. I have not played these yet because I'm waiting. These are very by-the-numbers GameCube ports, up in HD. They don't look very good, <laughs> right? You would never, I, even as a physical collector, even I, when I saw this in the direct, was not expecting this to be a physical release. I was hopeful, but I certainly had no expectation. And guess what? In September, they are releasing a physical version of Pikmin 1 and 2. And that's a huge point, too, for Nintendo. They do release cartridges with the full game on them. That's awesome. Pikmin 1 and 2 don't need more space than that. It's all going to be on there. There are some publishers like Konami doing weird stuff with Metal Gear Solid Collection where I don't think there's any game on the cartridge, and that sucks. But shout out to Nintendo. They they do it right. No one would have expected Pikmin 1 and 2 to get a physical release. No one would have really complained. If it didn't, I certainly wouldn't have because I didn't expect that for, you know, 25-year-old GameCube games. Or, you know, close to 25 years old. 20 years old. That's crazy. So... In a time where, where Microsoft is, is is pushing away, pushing back at physical, um, PlayStation feels kind of just there. You know, Spider-Man 2 is getting a physical shout-out. Uh, Final Fantasy 16, not published by Sony, but a PS5 exclusive getting physical. So, you know, also shout-out to the PlayStation a little bit. I would certainly imagine they're coming up <laughs> in terms of dropping physical media, but still, they are doing it from a first-party standpoint, and I do appreciate that. Um, although we are seeing with, like, PSVR 2, for example, Horizon Call of the Mountain doesn't have physical, which certainly sucks, but that's more niche that I kind of get. But shout-out to Nintendo, because they, 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 they're doing it right. So... Thank you all for watching. Let me know your thoughts on all this physical versus digital stuff down in the comments below. I don't think I've ever really covered this topic on the channel. Maybe maybe just in passing, but um, it's something very important to me. And to see a game like Starfield potentially being digital only, um, they did delete the tweets, so we'll see, is very disheartening. Because while I don't really care about Starfield, 
it is a sign that things are moving faster than I think a lot of people expected. You you add up Starfield, Alan Wake 2, this new Like a Dragon game, Dragon Quest, Infinity Shrash, and you have a recipe for disaster for physical collectors. So let me know your thoughts down in the comments below. I would love to get a conversation going. Of course, you can follow me on Twitter at Botox Games. You can join my Discord. That is linked down below. And until next time, folks, peace.